Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is part two of my Ulta's 21 days of beauty sale videos. Now part two is a little similar but slightly different. I didn't want to put everything in one video and make it too, too long. Um, basically these are products that I don't own, I've never tried before, and that I'm planning to buy during the 21 days of beauty sale. So let's go ahead and get started. talk about the products that I'm planning on buying, what the reviews look like, how good is the product, what people are saying about the products so that maybe we can try them together if you haven't already or if you have the product that I've never tried, maybe you can talk about it in the comments below. It looks like KKW's eyeshadow palettes which are originally $45 are gonna be on sale for $22 during the sale. That's gonna be on September 2nd. Looking at the Ulta reviews, they all have four plus stars out of five reviews. Just looking at it, it's kind of basic for me, but I realize that not everyone is like me who has a gazillion palettes and who loves color pretty much. And so nude, or neutral palettes are usually the last thing that gets my attention but you know a lot of the five stars say there's a good selection of palettes very blendable and very pigmented there is a one star rating very little but basically they said some of the colors are way too similar but otherwise majority are four and five star ratings for this palette. other item that i want to try during the sale is the Elemis Superfood Facial Oil. I tend to shy away from oils and facial oils because I feel like they're gonna make me oilier, but I learned that oils are actually lighter than creams. They're the ones that really seep in, at least the good oils. So Elemis is an amazing brand. It's going to be $22 during the sale, originally $55. It has four and a half out of five star ratings. It hydrates, nourishes, smooths. It's full of antioxidants. Basically, this oil is gonna leave your skin balanced and healthy and radiant looking. And who doesn't want that, right? You want something that's gonna give you the glow, according to my friend Vanessa. That's something that I would wanna try. It has four out of five ratings. It will be a good way for me to try facial oils without really breaking the bangs. On September 8th, a whole bunch of lashes, different brands like Lily Lashes, Velour Lashes are gonna be on sale. They range from $12 to $26 are gonna be half off. I heard a lot about Lily Lashes, so I think that's something that I wanna try. It's $26, it's gonna be on sale for $13. So you know I'm not a lash person. I do love to try them every now and then, especially for special occasions. And if you haven't watched my Magnetic SL Lash video, you guys should check it out. Lily Lashes, depending on the style, they have some good four to five star ratings. So there's a good selection in there that I think is gonna be worth trying. That's on September 8th. This one I'm excited about. You guys know I'm an oily skin gal and I get excited about powders. On September 9th, women-owned brands are gonna be on sale, and one of them is the Beauty Bakery. I've always wanted to try more of Beauty Bakery because their makeup products has a theme that is food themed products. So I don't know, I just love that twist sometimes. Kind of like the soaps and um, bath soaps from Nectar Bath Treats. Their powder, which they call their flower powder, is gonna be on sale. They're gonna be half off. Originally $24, they're gonna be $12. You can't beat that. It has four and a half out of five stars. They are vegan and it has this HD feature where it covers imperfections, it blurs fine lines and pores so why not right always wanted to try beauty bakery as a brand and so i'm excited really excited for this powder now if i don't get this powder i might get the cover effects powder and that one is going to be on sale on september 15th it is a little bit more expensive it's going to be on sale for 17.50 12 dollars 17.50 
you know there is quite of a big difference there five dollar difference with beauty bakery their powder is vegan cover fx it's actually leaping bunny certified which means it is vegan and also cruelty free comment down below which one you guys think i should get if you've tried both i mean beauty bakery or cover fx powder but either way i'm definitely gonna try at least one of them for sure it's time for me to stock up on powders and so I'm excited for that sale. The other product that I want to try is Cover FX Monochromatic Blush and Bronzer Combo or Duo. It's going to be half off for $19. Originally, it's $38. It's going to be $19. What a steal. I love me a new blush and bronzer duo. And Cover FX is a good brand. They have four out of five stars. The blush and highlighter duo is actually close to five stars there's about 78 reviews 66 of them are five star rating reviews one person gave it a two star rating and one of the complaints was that it's too pigmented so i guess there are some products that are super super pigmented then again i think i prefer something with color than no color because when there's no color what's the point right <laughs> I can't leave Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty sale without some kind of skincare, right? So I talked about LMS Superfood, but the other item that I want to try is by Clinique. Now Clinique, I guess, is one of those oldie but a goodie brand, right? It's kind of like those brands that our moms used to have. You don't see them in subscription boxes, but that could sometimes mean it's a testament of their brand and that they don't need to be in a subscription box to stand up on their own, right? Clinique ID is super unique because it's a moisturizer but with benefits and you can customize those benefits to your liking. Basically, you have the base like your moisturizer and then you pick a serum that goes along with that moisturizer. Depending on your skin needs, you could get the serum for pores, uneven texture, maybe you need one for extra hydration if you have super dry skin, um, there's one for fine lines, wrinkles, and there's all sorts of things like for fatigue, for irritation. A lot of the reviews is between four to five stars. Originally, this is around $40, so it's gonna be 50% off. It's gonna be $19 during the sale. And that's on September 13th. On September 16th, they're dedicating the sale to all Korean skincare and products. A lot of the brands that are in there are things that I haven't tried. So there's skincare from Peach and Lily. I haven't heard of that. Mom and D, that sounds very familiar. I probably have had a mask from them from a long time ago. Um, but what I want to try is their Arborean BB Cream. So I heard there's some pretty good coverage there and it's also an amazing BB Cream. I'm surprised for a BB Cream. It's actually pretty expensive. It's $40. It's $39. It only has three colors. So if I'm lucky, I might get one that's close to my skin tone. But because it's on sale it's half off on september 16th it's going to be only 20 dollars. so i think i might want to try that hopefully if the coverage is there i like it because i've been loving kind of like that dewy healthy looking skin lately instead of the matte on matte face love that little bit of a glow as long as i don't look like a frying pan you know what i mean <laughs> so that's all of the products that i'm thinking of getting during the whole 21 days of beauty sale. If you haven't checked part one of this video, I'm wearing the same makeup, the same outfit, because why not? <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye.